Just yesterday, it was revealed that at an event to support Donald Trump, a video made by a Trump supporter was shared that shows the president um, killing all of his critics. It was a little meme video, a little fun video put together, uh, supporting the president's war against uh, so-called fake news, which is just war uh, news that's critical of him. Uh, the video shows Mr. Trump's head superimposed on the body of a man opening fire inside the church of fake news on parishioners who have the faces of his critics or the logos of media organizations superimposed on their bodies. Bodies. That includes PBS, NPR, Politico, The Washington Post, and NBC. As the parishioners try to flee, the president fires them. He shoots Black Lives Matter in the head and also shoots Vice News. So at this point, we could roll the video and show it to you, but I'm not going to do that. First yeah. of all, almost everyone here has already seen it, obviously. And it's, um, it's just that horrible. Don't want to. So yeah. I had to watch it. And the fun little thing is uh, the organization that I work for here is one of the things that the president murders in that video. And so thankfully, none of his supporters have ever shown a propensity towards political violence. So we don't need to be worried about our lives now in the wake of another high profile video showing him murdering people in the media. Oh Wait, no, they have, that happens all the times. And in fact, we know that the pipe bomb guy apparently compiled a list of all of his biggest media enemies and then started going down the line trying to bomb them. So it's fun to be on that list, that's fun. Yeah. Yeah. So we're not going to show it. Um, I, I don't want it to get any more, uh, you know, um, I guess views than it already has because they're still on YouTube, by the way. These videos, like encouraging violence against the uh, the enemies of the president, um, are still up there. By the way, we're focusing here on the the media uh, uh, organizations, but also Adam Schiff is killed, Bernie Sanders, Maxine Waters, John McCain, Mika Brzezinski, Bill Clinton, Rosie O'Donnell. Other videos that this sociopath who made it um, have him murdering AOC, Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, and everybody. So, and this is the weakest case of like throwing the stone and hiding your hands ever because um, not only is his image in it, but it was shown at an event that his son and former uh, press secretary or press director are were speaking at, at yeah. inside a building that he not only owns but has his name on it you know mm -hmm. I, this is horrifying so I the saw president it last night and was just like oh my god this. yeah yeah the video was horrible it's horrible it's awful he just there, there has to be a limit for some of you out there it, it, it's just you all of this all of this because you just could not emotionally handle a black man being president of the mm. United States. That's yeah. it. That's what this is all about. This is what this anger and this pushing back and like you have just like attached yourself to that. So let's quickly respond to every time one of these little things comes up, there will be some, much like a squid squirts ink at you, um, right wingers squirt BS at you. Mm -hmm. So uh, the video is from a year ago, they will shout, I don't care, it was played at the event over the weekend. Why would that matter? Right. Why would that be better somehow that this guy has been doing this for years? That's not better at all. Um, it's, uh, it's just a meme, don't care. Man, the Nazis could have really avoided a lot of criticism if they just called all the stuff they were doing memes, apparently, right. for the right wing. Um, it's uh, it's satire of the Kingsmen. That's the raw footage that was manipulated. Don't care, and it's not satirizing the Kingsmen, you morons. It's using the Kingsmen to satirize his war against quote unquote fake news. Man, there's a lot of stupid people out there. Um, this is just another thing made, not by the president. So let's be really clear about that. Trump didn't make it, and we're gonna get to it. He'll probably end up tweeting it out. He didn't make it, but a supporter of his did. And the supporter didn't make it because the supporter likes the idea of Trump murdering media figures. He made it because he wants people to watch his videos. And he knew that other Trump supporters love the idea of Trump killing his critics. Like these sorts of memes are always end up being violent because they're made for the audience that wants to see violent imagery. They love the idea of Trump, who already is present. He pushes already has violence. Power. His audience listens to him. Mm -hmm. How many times has he said something that has been violent at one of his rallies? Yeah. So often, and they cheer and they love that. Yeah, and look, when he started calling the the media the enemy of the people, the right. same sort of language that any number of dictators and fascists have used in the past. Um, very soon after, someone walked into a newsroom and started shooting up journalists. So that happened, and then there was like this moment where the media was like, oh. 
well, that's got to break through. That's gonna that's gonna stop that, right? No, he's tweeted about uh, the media being the enemy of the people 35 times since then. So he just doesn't stop. By the way, quick little notes because the people who make and consume this sort of media are morons. So first of all, um, their savior. Trump, uh, great Christian, they always say, is murdering people in a church. So bear that in mind. That's how they like to see him. Um, second, he's the only person in that crowd that has a gun. So he's murdering defenseless people. So very strong image there. And also, just how deranged they really, the supporters of fascists always think that their leader is this tough alpha figure. Trump can barely walk around a golf course, he's so morbidly obese and out of shape. Like the idea that he's some sort of ninja that's gonna come in and start shooting up people, but it's always the same. Hitler and, and all of them, they're these pathetic figures that wrap themselves in fake patriotism, fake macho behavior, because they themselves are pathetic and they're appealing to the most pathetic sort of generally men, some women, mostly men. And so obviously that, that is going to be lost on them. Um, but let's let's also, move. Also, just like I feel like over and over, it has to be said that like Black Lives Matter is not some fringe political movement. It's not a political movement at all. It is a message that simply is asking that Black Americans like reach the same like equality when it comes to basic humanity. Mm-hmm. That they not be shot. And I know we're gonna get to it later, but like what just happened in Texas over the weekend, like. It is not, this is, it has been just co-opted by even people who mean well. Yeah. And just like confuse the message. It's it's just short for like, hey, let Black Lives Matter too. That's it. It's just, you know. And do you it, think, do you think that the fact that, again, this was made by a Trump supporter and then played at a Trump event. Right. Because, because again, they knew that it would play well, that the fans there would like it. Yeah. Um, the fact that he's not just killing, you know, like CNN or Politico or like, by the way, if you think NPR is like your big enemy, you might have gone insane. Um, but also, uh, killing the concept of Black Lives Matter, is that going to get through? Obviously, there are still high profile media figures who are black and big Trump supporters. Um, they themselves have generally not been supportive of the Black Lives Matter movement. But the idea that we're talking about like Candace Owens or whoever, there's people on Fox News and Fox Business too. There are like three black people on Fox. Yeah, (laughs) those then, (laughs) those people. (laughs) What do you blame on them? Um, (laughs) I'm just saying, do you think that this has, do you think who's the, the, I mean, it's not a new message. Like, remember Cointel Pro? It's not a new Mm -hmm. message. Remember what Jeff Sessions, how he wants to investigate. Uh, black activists, mm-hmm. like this is not a new thing. Yeah, yeah. Martin so Luther King like w- walked so we could run. Yeah, like this is not a new thing. So it's as just you frustrating that it's you know still going on. Mm-hmm. You pointed out um, both uh, the president's son and uh, Don and uh, Sarah Huckabee Sanders yeah. there again. This is at a Trump property, Thought so we had gotten rid of her. Exactly. So these people who like like Don Jr. is supposed to be he's the business guy. Trump is doing the politics. His son is doing the business. No, they're doing it at an event where he will profit. So bear that in mind. Also, he speaks at his events. So anyway, um, they were there, and uh, Sarah Huckabee Sanders uh, she didn't see it. She definitely didn't see it, but listen to her. It's like, first of all, it's entirely possible that she didn't see it. It's an event, has multiple rooms, you're not in all of the rooms. Sure, yeah. But take a look at her uh, her statement and you see, does this make you think that she didn't see it or make you think maybe she did? I was there to speak at a prayer breakfast where I spoke about unity and bringing the country together. I wasn't aware of any video, nor do I support violence of any kind against anyone. Okay, girl. So that's very much like Thank a, you. no, I couldn't have done that. I was I was helping the blind. <laughs> Like, yeah, you were at a prayer breakfast. Um, by the way, she excused Trump's comments uh, encouraging violence against the media any number of times exactly. in her official capacity. And like, so that's funny. she would have stood on that podium and said the video was not violent. Oh, 100%. Right. Yeah, so, if that okay. was still her job, she'd why. still be pretending. Yeah, so. And uh, so uh, Trump apparently hasn't seen it. Stephanie Grisham, uh, the new Sarah Gabby Sanders, says the video played over the weekend. The POTUS has not yet seen the video. He will see it shortly, but based upon everything he has heard, he strongly condemns this video. First of all, um, Trump is literally always on Twitter. There's no way he hadn't seen that video. Right, and also <laughs> Stephanie Grisham, the new Sarah Huckabee Sanders, but you wouldn't know that because she has not held yeah. a press briefing. Yeah, what is she getting paid to do exactly? I don't Tweet, Trump no. does that himself, he doesn't need you to do that. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so Trump has definitely seen it. 
What will but he like comment this, on it? This really big moment of this event in full just to support the Trump campaign. No one, we're supposed to believe that no one there had any idea. No one in power there. No one connected to the campaign. No one connected property. to Trump had any idea that this was being specifically created and used for this event to support him. Yeah. There's no way. Yeah. That, yeah. And well, look. I think there's like 50-50 chance he wasn't say anything uh -huh. or he tweets it out later. Or he pretends that it wasn't violent or whatever. Yeah, God I, only knows. I'm going with like he pretends it wasn't violent. Yeah, and at the end of the day, I don't even I don't even care. I mean, I, I hate to continually be worried that, that someone is gonna track me and my family down and kill me. That sort of sucks since, as I tweeted earlier today, I don't even wanna be in this career. I have no interest in being in the media. I didn't train to be in the media. I got into this because the world's on fire. I'm just trying to help a little bit. I don't want to do this. There's a hundred other things I want to do. Last thing I want is to do something I don't want to do and worry that, like, for instance, my soon to be wife will be murdered by some psycho who will track us down. It's fun to go day to day worrying that that's going to happen because I make videos about climate change or something. And yet, that, that psychopath who made that video decided to put TYT in it. So that's always fun. The bigger issue is that. A lot of people in the media still haven't gotten what is going on, what this video was made for. It's made for a growing percentage of the American public who is not interested in democracy, who is not interested in representative government. They want Trump to take over full power, murderous, violent, vengeant power. That's what they want. And people are still pretending that we're still in like the 80s or something. It's like, ah, we disagree on the budget or whatever. No, they support full power vested in one authoritarian ruler. And I don't know exactly what percentage it is. I don't know how many people it is, but it's far more than the media seems to think. And so they're still going easy on this stuff, knowing that it is part of an ecosystem of horribly violent, generally, not generally against the media, usually it's against people from Mexico or Muslims or, or whatever. And it's just, it's a growing problem that most people still haven't come to grips with. And I hate to see people continually obfuscating for the president, defending him, knowing the cost that is likely to be paid. Thank you for watching this clip from the Damage Report. For more content from the show and access to TYT Network members only exclusives, go to tyt.com slash Brooke. Wait, no, it's tyt.com slash John. Go to tyt.com slash John to sign up.